Cardiobites. What are the phenotypes of heart failure with preserved ejection fraction, or HEFPAF? Clinical phenotypes may reflect underlying differences in the pathophysiology of HEFPAF. Although hypertension is the most common phenotype of HEFPAF, there are four additional clinical phenotypes often seen in HEFPAF, which may impact the prognosis and management. They are aging, obesity, pulmonary hypertension, and coronary artery disease. Hypertension is the most common phenotype of HEFPAP and affects the majority of patients. It can lead to hypertensive heart disease with concentric and eventually eccentric left ventricular hypertrophy and even reduced ejection fraction. It is the most modifiable phenotype. The prevalence of HEFPAP increases with increasing age. HEFPAF prevalence is low in patients less than 55 years of age and increases sharply with age thereafter, and more so in women greater than 80 years of age. Aging has direct effects on both blood vessels and heart remodeling and dysfunction. Obesity increases the risk of developing HEFPAF. Obesity directly affects heart structure and function. It can also cause non-cardiac changes, including volume expansion and dysfunction in other systems, including skeletal muscle, leading to worsening symptoms. Pulmonary hypertension with right heart failure has been associated with HEFPAP. Chronic elevation of left atrial pressures result in ongoing stress on the pulmonary vessels and results in pulmonary hypertension out of proportion to the left atrial pressures, leading to right ventricular dysfunction and failure. There is an observed association between coronary artery disease, particularly myocardial infarction, and subsequent HEFPAP. Coronary microvascular dysfunction may also play a role in HEFPAF development with impacts on diastolic dysfunction. Associated comorbidities listed here can be found in the different phenotypes of HEFPAF and can worsen the symptoms and outcomes of HEFPAF. Identifying these comorbidities may play a significant role in HEFPAF management. In summary, Understanding and identifying the phenotypes of HEFPAP and identifying comorbidities may facilitate a more targeted approach to treatment initiation and improved outcomes in these patients. Thank you for tuning in to this edition of CardioBytes, brought to you by the Heart Failure Society of America. Support for this program was provided by an independent grant from Novo Nordisk. Novo Nordisk did not review this content. I'm Arunima Mishra, a non-invasive cardiologist and heart failure clinical trialist from Baylor College of Medicine and Michael E. DeBakey VA Medical Center in Houston, Texas. Please complete the short survey to help us identify more programs that may be of interest to you.